Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here with you once again. I don't know if anybody's in here, but uh, if you are, I'm here. And it's been a while, so I'm going to talk about some sales that I had <clears throat> this last uh, couple of weeks, probably. Um, nothing great, but some some good things, I suppose. Um, sorry about the camera. My one USB port on my computer kind of took a crap on me, so it's not doing too good. If you can hear me, please let me know in the chat. If not, then I'll figure something out. But uh, my camera sucks tonight. I have to go through the integrated web camera on the computer, and I don't like it, but it is what it is until I can get a new computer, which I'm going to do. But anyway, so I'm going to go through some updates, uh, some things I sold, so we'll do a screen share here. Screen share. I think that'll work. Okay. So the first thing that I sold. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for letting me know that you can hear me. At least you can hear me. Ah, I'm making lots of noises too. Um, the first thing I sold is the book of rune cards. Uh, tarot cards, rune cards, that kind of stuff always sell well for me. Uh, I got this for a dollar eighty nine at the Goodwill. And uh, sold it for the full asking price of twenty nine ninety five, and it sold within a few days of listing. I do have another set, I think, still listed, so that's cool. Uh, this actually came with a book right here, and it came with a, a deck of cards as well, a small deck of cards. I don't know anything about it. Uh, the box was a little rough, missing the top, but still sold. So I'll take that. After that, we had a Department 56 North Pole Series Santa's Sweet Shop. Uh, this one I got uh, in February at Tuesday mornings. What's the name of the store? They were 90% off. I paid $18 for this one. Another one just like it, which I already sold a, a couple months ago. And another one that's worth over 100 but it hasn't sold yet. But I did get the full asking price for this one of $38.95, and I shipped that out, I think, yesterday. This is just a Bible trivia game from 1984. Um, these things go for good money. This box was pretty rough, as you can see. There was staining, and uh, it wasn't good. The cards inside were mis discolored. I had rubber band marks on them. All the pieces were there, but I did get the full asking price of $29.95, which is pretty good. Uh, paid $1.89 for this one as well. On that Department 56 house, I think I have $3.80 into it because it was 90% off. So that was not bad either. I love my vintage 70s clothing. This is a Joe Namath rayon wide collar. I always put wide collar because people want to know. Uh, this one had rainbows and streams and, you know, just weird scenes in it. But people love this stuff. Uh, this thing looked like it just came out of the package, and it probably did. Uh, our Goodwills around here never leave things in the package. This is what the tag looks like, and I realize I only have four pictures. That's crazy. Uh, Joe Namath by Arrow. So it's not a great, great brand, but I still got $24.95 out of it, and it weighed nothing, so it was cheap to ship. I did free shipping on that one. This was cool. I got this at an auction uh, recently. I got it uh, the day I got all the angels and stuff that I've talked about on my last video uh, or a couple videos ago. This is a Steinbach music box. Uh, the birds actually do things. I did put a video in the listing uh, of it playing. I'm not going to play it here because my computer just won't handle that, but I took a best offer, I believe, of $40 on this. Uh, it wasn't Mark Steinbach, but I did. It probably at one time was Mark Steinbach. Uh, it played Ein Schwalter, whatever that word is. I can't pronounce that. Uh, so anyway, I took forty dollars for this. It was great. I I wanted to keep it, but you know, money's more important. This is Tom Petty, uh, Highway Companion. This is from two thousand six. Now, if you ever see the word Digipack, all that means is it's the type of uh, case it comes in. It's like a cardboard uh, case. This one had actually had um, a booklet inside 
uh, it has a plastic holder here, but the case is the actual cardboard instead of the plastic. So the only part of the thing that's plastic is the actual holder on the CD. Uh, the rest of it's cardboard. So that's a digipack if you ever come across one and you want to put that in your listing. And for some reason, it's important to put in your listing. Uh, this one took a long time to sell, but it did sell. I only got $10 for it, but I have $1.89 into it. So that's not bad. Pittsburgh Penguin CCM jersey. Uh, it was it marked CCM on the inside and NHL. Um, $26.95 plus $6.90 shipping. Uh, just got feedback on this as I was going live, so they were happy with it. Uh, very nice jersey. I've actually sold this twice. It came back because it didn't fit. Uh, I take free returns, so I, I paid the shipping back. So I didn't make a great profit on it, but I've, I uh, shipped it free the first time. So I added the shipping back in on this time, and they are very happy with it this time. So very nice jersey. It was a blank back uh if it had a name on it, it might have went for a little bit more, but I did get the full asking price of $26.95, so that ain't bad. This is a great game, and if you ever come across it and it has all the pieces, uh, it does very well. You can get up to $60, $70, even $80 for this. If it's sealed, you can get over $100, $125 for this game. Uh, this is from 1968. It's called Battling Tops, and these little tops uh, spin. They, the white part is uh, has a string on it. You pull it, and it spins. Uh, I took a best offer of 45 on this one because I wasn't 100% sure it was complete, and I wrote near complete in the title, even though I think it was 100% complete. It even had the, all the little pegs with it. Uh, there were no instructions. I don't know if it was issued with... Well, on the inside of the box there were, but there was no other paperwork in it, so I don't know if it was issued with any other instructions or anything, and I couldn't find anything about the parts list for this game. So I just assumed it was complete or uh, near complete. And I sold it for $45 plus $10 shipping. And it went out a couple days ago. This is one of those David Winter cottages. I think I spoke about those in a previous video. Uh, I got a lot of 56 of these um, for $143. Hey, going on grumpy. How are you? Uh, got a lot of 56 of these for $143, I believe. Um, this is the second one I sold. You'll see the first one here in a bit. Uh, this one actually went back to the UK. These were originally manufactured by the John Hine Company in the UK. Oh, they're all handmade and hand-painted. They're pretty cool little items. If you look at the original price, this was $118 originally. Um, let's see if I can get that up here so you can see the original price was 118 dollars well now they're not worth that much but uh, i did get 25 dollars plus 690 shipping on this one and it did go or actually plus whatever it cost them to ship i shipped this to kentucky i did this through global shipping and uh it's going back to the uk and it, i just got a notification that it was actually shipped today from the from the global shipping center so it's on its way uh, this clock also came from that auction where I got all the angels. Uh, Shanghai Tr Trading Company. Let's see if you can see that. It's made by Timeworks, which is out of California, Berkeley. Uh, I didn't think there was much to this clock, and I was not even going to list it. My wife prodded me and poked me because there was some that were uh, listed for over $80. Well, this was a used clock. Um I didn't want to list it that high. I didn't think it would sell even at $54.95, and it didn't. It sold at $44.95 uh, plus $10 shipping because I took a best offer on it. But for, you know, for future reference, listen to your better half sometimes because they know what they're talking about. She knew this was going to sell. Uh, there were no real comps on it except current listings. Uh, I could have got more out of it. Uh, the guy was very happy. I've already got feedback. Um, very happy. Uh, it, it kept perfect time because I timed it. What's up, Jim and Tara? Uh, I timed it with another clock, and they both kept the exact same time, so I knew it was going to work. Pretty cool. But, yeah, I better listen to my wife, right? Oh, yay, Rake and Profit is live. I don't think I'm going to listen. Um, anyway, so I, uh, I took the $44 and ran. I mean, this clock cost me probably pennies, so 
Uh, this is a Pyrex Flameware model 7759. It's, that's the coffee pot number model. Uh, this just is a little basket. I sold it for $11.99. The guy bought two of them because I had two of them. And uh, these things sell really quick and they sell really good. Uh, they're saying that I better listen to my wife is, is the you better. <laughs> my better half. So anyway, the guy bought two of these, so it came to 28-something, and I shipped them out. I haven't heard anything back, so hopefully they arrive safely. But this Pyrex Flameware stuff does really good. The nine-cup coffee pot, uh, the stems that are in there, they call them pumps. Uh, they um, they sell for like 30 bucks, 28 to 30 bucks is what I get out of them when I find them. So every time I find one, I don't care if it's complete or, or not, I'll part it out, and uh, I do really well with them. Uh, this is a vintage West clock, pocket watch style clock, travel clock or desk clock. wasn't perfect. Uh, it was made in Germany. Uh, couldn't find any comps on it. Uh, it did have a lot of wear on the backside, uh, but it sold for the full asking price of twenty four ninety five. Pretty cool looking clock. My wife actually liked this one. Um, thought about keeping it. I got three clocks uh, at another auction. This, second auction I went to. This one, another West Clocks, uh, Big Baby Ben or Baby Ben West Clocks. And Sam Dow says his wife won't stop talking until I listen. Yeah, I, I hear you. <laughs> I love my wife. She's a great woman and she pushes me to uh, succeed. And I like that. So anyway, took twenty four ninety five for this clock. It's a pretty cool clock. It, it kept good time. The alarm worked. The springs were tight inside and everything worked good, so it was a nice clock. Uh, this also came from that last auction. This is a 1940s uh, hat. It's called a, uh, I don't know what kind of hat it is, so I didn't put it up there. But it is a fur wool and fur blend. It's made by Henry Pollock, which actually isn't a um, manufacturer but a distributor he was a distributor back in the 40s and 50s and i think up into the 60s uh, this one was actually dated 1942 uh, let's see if we can get that and it said miss america original i i didn't know uh, most of the polack hats i found on ebay were going for 25 dollar range but because this said miss america on it i figured i'd price it higher so I priced it at $29.95. You can see uh, right there it says Henry Polak. You can't read it real well, but up here it says 80% wool, 20% fur, made in the USA. Henry Polak Distributors, Fifth Avenue, New York. So this hat did really well. I shipped that out the other day. It had a nice uh, leather band. Uh, this woman had a lot of hats. I only listed a couple because most of them were, you know, been stored for a long time and had some issues. Uh, and... But she had a lot of hats. She was pretty much a socialite in our town here. And uh, I just, I bought them all for, I think I have $12 or $15 into all the hats. And not very much. I spent $43 that day. And this was one of the items I got along with the clocks. So pretty good. This also came out of that last uh, auction haul in the end with that $43. It's a Madonna figurine. It's glass, Fostoria glass. I didn't know how to describe it, so I just put in vintage 10-inch Fostoria glass Madonna figurine, and it sold within two days for the full asking price of $29.99 plus $10 shipping. Uh, I packed the heck out of this one just to make sure it got there. Uh, it's vintage. It's probably from the 60s or 70s. She had a lot of stuff from the 40s up to the 60s and 70s, uh, so I'm not exactly sure the actual age on this one, but this was one of those things that I was going to pass on uh, and wasn't going to sell because I didn't think it was worth much, and a lot of the comps on eBay were low, and I priced it towards the top end, and I got it. So there's something to be said about pricing things towards the top end. All right, this is a Wavecom Junior TX888 RX999. TX888 is one side, RX999 is the other side. Uh, it's just some sort of audio video wireless transmitter from the 90s and i've sold this one twice uh the first one the guy bought it and i shipped it out and the 
before he even got it, he said he had to return it because he accidentally bought the wrong thing. This time, it was shipped out, and I, I haven't checked to see if they got it yet. I never check tracking on things. If somebody hasn't got it, they'll tell me. Uh, but uh, this thing was pretty much brand new in the box. Uh, everything was with it. I took uh, $31.53 plus $10 shipping for it. I hope they're happy with it. I hope I never see it again. This is another one of those David Winter cottages. This isn't actually a cottage. It's a 21st anniversary plaque. Uh, there were two versions of this plaque. I only had one version, but there was a this version, which is the U.S. version, and there's a U.K. version where the coloring's a little different. Uh, this was actually the most valuable one I had. This thing's only about three inches tall by maybe two inches wide, maybe four inches tall, two inches wide, three inches wide, something like that. Uh, and it sold for the full asking price of $29.99. Uh, it was made in the year 2000. It was right after Anesco took over manufacturer of the David Winter cottages. So, and they didn't last very long, only a couple years, uh, and they lost their popularity. Uh, you can see there is the 21st anniversary clock, David Winter 2000. This one says Anesco. And Anesco seems to be a good keyword to put in if, if it in fact is one of the Anesco ones because they were a lot there was a lot less of those made so I didn't get a lot of the Anesco ones when I was getting the the whole ordeal but uh, I did get a few this is from that car parts haul I got a few a couple months ago I think now they are now starting to sell uh, they sat for a long time but this is an outer right uh, steering tie rod the guy wanted it shipped quick he, of course, didn't want to pay anything extra, but uh, so I sent a priority, and he must have gotten it on time because he needed it by Sunday of this week, and it is now, what, Wednesday? So I haven't heard anything back. I sold this for the full asking price of thirty-one forty-five. I did ship it free. It fit in a priority uh, padded flat rate. Uh, I put cardboard around it because it's a pointy object, and I didn't want it sticking through, so I put some cardboard around it and shipped her off. So I made a little bit of money off of that. Uh, this was one of my better finds. I paid $15 for this at a local, it's in the mall and it's like an antique shop, but it's not, I mean, he's got some antiques in there. He sells mostly, uh, movie posters and there's a lot of them. I mean, he's got thousands of original movie posters. Uh, my wife and I have bought movie posters there to hang on the walls. Uh, our favorite movie. She likes the producers. And so we have that poster, but they're all original posters. Um, uh, I don't know where he got them all. He also sells on eBay, but uh, his prices are a bit high. If you buy them in the store, they're a little bit cheaper. But anyway, I got this there. Uh, it did have some condition issues. It was missing a couple pieces. Uh, but it was actually, you know, a nice find for $15. Uh, this is number 915, the farmhouse. Little people play family farm, I guess. Uh, it was from the 70s. It was marked 1977, I believe, on the bottom of the box. It had the box, it had the silo, uh, you know, the barn was discolored a little bit. Uh, the moo still worked on the door, you know, when you had these, the, you open the door and the moo. I love the moo, so that still worked. I only had one of the uh, roosters, it had the dog. It was missing, I think, the cat and the little girl and one piece of fence. And I think there was a black sheep and a white rooster and a brown cow. Uh, the most important thing when you're looking for this particular lot, oh, I didn't mean to do that. What did I do? I broke I broke YouTube. Is this thing on this horse? Um, that thing alone can go for, I think, 10 or $11 uh, if you sell it separately. It's a little hitch for the horse, and that thing gets lost a lot. So if you find that, uh, you got a few dollars coming. So that wasn't too bad. I already got feedback on this one, and he was really happy with it. So the figurines were in really good shape. Um, the barn, eh, not so much, but the figurines and those things, you know, you can sell those, you can part these things out and you can make pretty decent money, nine, $10 a piece on those. I don't know how to say this word, but I think it's propay or prop it. Uh, there's usually a little thing above the E. I don't know how to put that in there. Somebody will have to show me someday. Uh, MBA 003 L. These are Tyler is the style name, and they're water-resistant dress boots. And they're like fur, faux fur lined, like a Sherpa lining. Uh, the guy was very picky on these boots. 
I, th I think I took a forty, a thirty-five dollar offer on these. I took a thirty-five dollar offer. Uh, the guy was very picky. He said, "I like the pictures. It looks good." And these things were like brand new. I actually had two pair. Um, I did make a mistake in this listing. Uh, up here it says thirteen XX five E, which is the correct size, but down here it says size twelve. Uh, he noticed that. He says, "If they're size twelve, don't send them. I need the thirteen five E's." He said, if they have any scuffs on them whatsoever, don't send them. But the problem was he sent that in a, uh, mess, not in a regular message through um, eBay, but in with the order. Uh, and sometimes I don't see those. And I didn't see that message. Luckily, however, it was, these were to his liking and he left me good feedback already. So I got those sold. I paid $389 for these at the uh, Goodwill. And I paid $389 for the, I had the size 12s as well. And those sold a while back, and they went to Russia. Uh, so sold both pairs of these for thirty-five for this one, and I think I got the full asking price of forty-four ninety-five for the others. So that's not too bad. This is just uh, some older malware bytes, anti-malware software. This is three point three point one. Uh, you can have up to three PCs on it. I got this in the DVD section at the Goodwill for a dollar eighty-nine. That's what our DVDs and CDs are or dollar eighty nine at our Goodwill, and it was still sealed, hasn't been used. I already got good feedback on this one, so everything worked out well. Uh, I think it's like a two thousand seven issue. It wasn't that new. I know that. I don't know if I can see it on one of these pictures. And of course, now my pictures don't want to come up. Two thousand fourteen, so it's it's four four years old. Uh, so this stuff still sells. Twenty nine ninety nine took the full asking price for that. Just another set of these gold leaf clusters. I've got 50 sets of these. I sell one or two every couple of weeks. Not that much. I've sold five of them already. Paid $10 for a giant patch lot back in the middle of the summer, and I've made about $250, $300 from that patch lot. I'm selling them all for $6.95 each. Uh, these sell pretty well, and I always get good feedback on them. So they're called scrambled eggs. If you ever find these things, they're called... One of the keywords you use is scrambled eggs because they kind of look like scrambled eggs, but you can also call them gold leaf clusters, clusters, and some people call them military leaves or whatever, but I didn't have enough room for all that stuff. It's just a pair of vintage Levi's 560. Uh, I took a best offer of 15 on these because I had them for a long time, and I don't really want to do clothing, so I just wanted to move them out. This is a Patagonia marsupial, uh, cinchilla fleece. It's called a marsupial because the pocket in the front goes all the way across like a kangaroo pouch. So that's why it's called that. I did get a message from this buyer. Yeah, I, you can't really eat those going on grumpy. I wish you could, though. I love scrambled eggs. And I love spam. If you hadn't noticed. Uh, well, I don't have any of my st spam stuff around. I have spam t-shirt i have a spam trophy i have spam things uh, maybe we're going to put some shelves on the back of the wall where the hats are and perhaps i'll put my spam stuff up there but uh scrambled eggs and spam that's that's one of my favorite dishes i know i'm crazy weird anyway the guy sent me a message hey this says delivered but it wasn't delivered and i said well check with your neighbors your family uh let the post office know you think it's been delivered to the wrong place or missing or stolen off your porch. Uh, that was about a week ago, I'd say. And I uh, haven't heard back, so he must have gotten it. Uh, but I did get full asking price at $39.99 for this, plus shipping. And I paid $389 on our Goodwill. Fleeces, uh, sweatshirts are always $389 unless they're on sale. Bibles, especially interesting unique bibles well this is an electronic bible this is a franklin bookman bookman is the manufacturer i guess i don't know well franklin is the manufacturer i don't know anyway this is the new international version i could have got more for this i took a 35 dollar offer they actually sell for a lot more mine had everything with it it was tested working everything was good uh, but if you find these, you can get up to 50 or 60 dollars for them if you find them new sealed you can get over a hundred dollars for them so handheld electronics are great. Bibles are great. When you mix the two, they do really well. It's just a cheap, cheap pair of Duluth Trading Company uh, P2 
pants. Uh, I had them for a long time. Exact same piece, the Bible, Sam. Anyway, this I put on auction for nine ninety nine. I got one bid and gone. Spam and chili, that would be awesome. I need to move to Hawaii because I hear they love that stuff down there. But I thought I'd get more on this. I had it listed for a long, long time. The pictures were horrible. But this is a Cleveland Force, which is an old defunct uh, soccer team from Cleveland. Uh, Major League Soccer, I think, or MISL, whatever that is. Uh, this is from the 80s, but I, it was a double um, collectible because it had the Camel cigarette logo plus the Cleveland Force logo, and some Cleveland Force stuff does really well, uh, but this one didn't. $9.99 plus shipping. I still made a couple dollars on it. I think I paid $3.89 for it. It was half off at the Goodwill, so I didn't pay much for it. Uh, I did ship it out. The guy got it. He's very happy with it. It is a unique item for somebody living in Cleveland, but for selling on eBay, not so much. So sometimes you have bad buys, you know, even though I made a couple of dollars, it's still, you know, not where I want to be with selling things. Same with the Duluth Trading Company jeans. Uh, I've heard so much about people reselling those. So I thought, you know, I paid 50 cents for those. So uh, paid 50 cents for the Duluth Trading Company jeans uh, at Salvation Army, but still, I don't want to be selling 999 jeans. It just doesn't fit my model. So that's why I put them on auction just to get rid of them and hoped that they would get a little bit more, but they didn't. Uh, this is another one of those car parts, same car part lot. I sold this for the full asking price of $22.45. All this is is the switch that goes into your steering wheel for a reset and trip. It doesn't have any wiring or anything. It's just the, the switch part. Very lightweight, shipped it free, got the full asking price of $22.45. I only have a couple of dollars. I, I paid 30, I think $37 for that whole lot, plus other things. Don't eat meat anymore. Oh, I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't eat meat. Uh, just a simple Polaroid, $28, free shipping, goes to the same place every time, and they sell within an hour or two tops. This is a Polaroid, uh, Polaroid 600 autofocus. Uh, this is a vintage slide rule. I paid a little bit more than I should have for this. I paid $4 for it. I got $14.99. Uh, but the guy was very happy when he got it. So, hey, I'm still not making enough money on on things like that. But this is uh, Post Brand. Uh, P.A. Bond is the guy's name who owned it. Uh, the guy who bought it sent me a message that said he bought it because he was in drafting and stuff in the old days. And this was the one he used. And he... Wanted another one, and, well, I had it, and I provided it for him. Uh, this one was an interesting sale, to say the least. This is a – my pictures were super horrible on this. I don't know what was going on that day. Every picture I took that day was horrible. I wasn't going to retake them, so I listed them anyway. Uh, as some of you know, Nautica is coming back into style. Uh, this is from the 90s. This is a, a Nautica Challenge. It says J-Class on this side. But – if you see up here, it's a 5XL. This is a big jacket. Um, you don't find 5XL anything uh, hardly uh, at the thrift stores. So I knew when I saw it, it was a good uh, buy. They wanted $12 for it, so I left it sit until it went to half off. Uh, this is just a smaller thrift store in our area, but they do half off a certain color tag every once in a while. Waited till it went half off, so I got this for $6. I took a $45 offer on it, and it went to Canada. It was not in great condition. It had some staining. Uh, as you can see on the inside there, it had a big stain on the inside. Uh, and I made sure to photograph all that. It also had a small stain on the arm on the outside. And I think the original color was probably closer to white, but it uh, had been yellowed. I uh, already got positive feedback on it. The guy was super happy with it. I'm going to guess that it's very hard for somebody uh, that size to find, you know, fashionable things that are in fashion to wear. And he was probably just excited to be able to find a 5X uh, Nautica coat. 
so that he could, you know, have his streetwear just like everybody else. So, and I was happy to sell it to him. This is from, I believe, the Korean War era. This is a vintage uh, military cap, short timer, I guess is the, I don't know. It had ear flaps on it. I just took somebody else's uh, description or a uh, title and added a little bit of things in there like the size and whatnot. But this thing was in phenomenal condition. I got it for 89 cents at the Goodwill. If you look at the tag, you can see this probably was never worn, uh, but it was very vintage and very cool. Uh, it took a while to sell, but I did get the full asking price of $26.95, so that's pretty sweet. Um, there was only a little bit of issues. You can see right there where those two air holes are, there was a little bit of dirt there. Other than that, this cap was phenomenal, and I've already gotten feedback on this one as well. And the coolest thing that I sold all in the last couple of weeks was this. This is a 1984 Gizmo uh, sheet. If you can see right up here, there is an ink stain right there on Gizmo's where he's at, sitting at the desk. There was an ink stain. This thing was not perfect, uh, but it was cool. Uh, right there next to him playing piano, it says uh, 1984 it was the date. Uh, he has 3D glasses on there riding his Corvette, playing the piano, that kind of thing. I didn't notice the um, ink stain. This is what it looks like on the bed. So I didn't notice the ink stain until uh, I was uploading the pictures to eBay. And I already had this thing put away, so I didn't get a close-up. But I did mention it in there and uh, said which picture it was in, and, and they could take a look at it. This one went to the UK, uh, and it was actually delivered today. Global Shipping sent me a... Uh, Message. I got the full asking price for this one of forty nine ninety five plus shipping, so that's pretty good. Uh, I also, and I'm gonna go get it here. It's been a week for Gremlins because I got. I'm gonna stop sharing because that's the last thing I have sold. But I'm gonna show you this uh, thing that I got. Did I stop sharing? I guess I did. I'm not on the right screen to know. Hey, there I am. Okay, so I'm going to show you this thing I got. And this is Stripe from Gremlins. He's also from 1984. And you can see he still has his tags. Uh, he actually has the original price tag. And I know you're not going to be able to read it. I'll try. Oh, maybe. $35 from Carlisle's. I don't know if you guys had Carlisle's stores where you're from. We haven't had a Carlisle store in a long time. He's also got his plastic applause ear tag. We haven't had a Carlisle store in a long time. Uh, he's a little bit posable. I got him listed at $100 or best offer. I don't think I'm going to get it, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so it was kind of love that Gremlin. Uh, he was kind of pretty cool to find. Um, and it was a kind of a funny story that they know me real well at the Goodwill and they know what kind of things I'm looking for. Uh, so they had it behind the counter. It was kind of on display, but kind of not. It was behind things. And the uh, manager of the Goodwill saw me, and he says, hey, got something for you. And they had it listed at $20. And I quickly, and he knows what I'm there for. So right in front of him, I'm looking it up on eBay to see what it was. And uh, the comps were all over the place. So I wasn't exactly sure if I should be spending $20 on this guy. But I took a chance on him, and uh, I had a 20% discount, so I actually got him for $17, which is not bad. I like this guy. He's cool. Uh, not too bad. And I think I did see one sold for $125, and I saw one sold for $75, so I kind of split the difference and put them up for $100 or best offer. Got a couple of watchers on him now. Uh, the other good find I had this week was this camera, which is a Pentax KC, KC? No, K1000. Pentax K1000. Uh, if you look this camera up, it was a very, very, very popular camera. They made it from the 70s, I think 77, all the way up into the 90s. Uh, later cameras are plastic top caps and bottom caps. Uh, this one is metal. Uh, it works real well. That's the delay or shutter speed. Uh, everything works on it. It came with a second lens, which is a zoom, I guess, presumably a zoom, but Sashi, a Takamara bayonet, 
135 millimeter. This one looks like it has some issues, so I'm not going to include it in the listing. This camera should sell for about $75 to $80. I paid $14 for this one at the Goodwill. What's up, Denise? Denise, right? Denise, yeah. So I'm going to take a picture of you all, see if it works. Anyway, so that's going to get listed here as soon as I get a battery for it to check the light meter. It has a built-in light meter in it, so pretty cool. Um, that's it for the sales update. I don't have any more. Um, it's been a while since I've been on it. I apologize. We've had some issues at home, family, you know, stuff. Not nothing major. Uh, and been very, very, very busy. Uh, listing and selling and sourcing and school things for my son and birthdays and, you know, all the normal stuff. Uh, my wife was uh, switched shifts. She now works second shift, so I have more time to do videos in the evening and list in the evening instead of the morning like I was. Uh, so, And we also actually have more time to spend together because uh, she's up more waking hours now because she wakes up earlier than, you know, and she doesn't go to bed as soon. So even on her days off, we have more time to spend than we did before. And that's pretty much her reasoning for doing it. And I understand that and I'm happy with it. So although it's a little weird sitting here at night by myself, but uh, I'll get over it, right? Everybody does. Or, or not. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so that's it. Um, glad you all could join me. I got 10 people watching. That's pretty cool. Um in the next, in the following weeks, that background is going to change a little bit. We're going to put some shelving up there. I'm, I just got approved for a PayPal working capital loan. I don't know if I want to take it or not. I'm still considering it. I will ask some of the guys on the uh, that we do the morning show with because those guys are very familiar with how those things work, and I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. But I need to expand, and I need to uh, be able to purchase more items. I need to. I need a new computer. Uh, for business. Uh, so I want to look into to doing that. Uh, this computer is getting old and barely wants to uh, even do these kind of uh, YouTube. So Denise says she has a PayPal loan. Uh, Denise, what's your payback on that? I know they do 10 from 10 up to 30% per sale or per whatever comes in through your PayPal. I'm <laughs> Not sure how I want to run it. I don't want to lose too much on my PayPal on my each um, sale, but I also want to pay it off fast. So you do. Okay. So you're halfway, which isn't too bad. Um, my wife and I will also discuss it. She is better with money than I am as far as loans and things of that nature. I really don't know what I'm doing. And she's usually in charge of all that stuff. But because this is my PayPal account, um, I will be the one responsible for making sure that gets done. And I'll probably end up paying it back sooner rather than letting it go all the way out. But uh, we're looking to expand the business, and, and this business has to do better. And currently, we're uh, – I wouldn't say we're living paycheck to paycheck, quote, unquote, but we're not quite to where we want to be as far as what this – my income is uh, and we want to make it better so the only way i know to do that is to get better stuff and buy more stuff and and to do that you need a little bit of extra money so hopefully uh a loan that actually pays for itself technically because you're not you'll never see the money uh will be better than taking it out on our credit cards which we really don't want to do even though we have no interest or low interest cards i don't want to do with that uh I'd rather it come out of per sale. So we're going to see how that works. I'm not going to take a large amount at first. I'll probably take a smaller amount to start, uh, enough to pay for a computer and then have a little bit more, uh, you know, for, because we're going to, we've started going to auctions a lot and you've seen some of the things that I've sold from auctions. Uh, uh, so we're going to start doing that more. And hey, I got, I got photobombed by one of my cats. Um, so anyway, we're going to consider that and, uh, in the next couple of days, I'm approved till the 10th of April. 
after that I have to reapply. So we'll see what happens with that. But I don't know. It, it's um, a little bit scary, I think, the first one. Uh, once I get the first one, perhaps uh, it won't be so scary for me and it'll actually work out well for us. And uh, we'll get there. The lowest is 1500 I got approved for 4000 uh, I would not take 4000 out. I would consider $1,500. Um, I don't, I didn't look into the details, uh, of what I could or could not take. I just know that I was approved for 4,000 and, uh, wife asked me about it again today and I kind of hemmed and hawed cause I get really nervous when it comes to money and not being able to, you know, you know, cut it. And I don't want to be in that position and I don't want to, uh, if I lose my eBay account tomorrow, I can't sell anything. Then I got to pay all that money back and. I'll lose my PayPal and all this. Not that that's ever going to happen. I'm very careful with my eBay account. I'm very careful with my PayPal account. I'm the only one that has access to either, uh, unless my wife needs to get in. Uh, you know, and I don't, I don't uh, want to screw any of that up. So we'll see how this goes. And I'll probably, if 1500 is the lowest, that sounds about right anyway. Um, enough for me to get a halfway decent i'm going to get a desktop computer and with a really good video card because this one i'm on a laptop now and i've been on a laptop this computer that i'm using right now is five years old uh i bought it to build my credit and that's another whole story but i bought this computer off of amazon through the amazon credit card that the store card not the actual mastercard but the store card that's through web bank or whatever it is or synchrony or whatever the bank was i don't remember uh i built to build credit i bought this i bought something from finger hut which i never recommend unless you're trying to build a quick credit and you pay it pay more than you owe as long as you pay six months worth um i paid on all our credit cards that we have now we pay more than we owe uh anyway i needed to buy a house i needed to get out of where i was uh, we were living in my mom's house. She wasn't there, but we were living there. My mom wanted to move back in, so I needed to build credit. It took me an entire year, but within a year, I went from nothing, basically, to a homeowner. So it can be done. And uh, buying a simple thing like a, a computer or I bought a video camera off of uh, Finger Hut and paying off your bills all on time and you know things like that can really really help you out in the long run but because i know what it's like to be poor i'm very careful with my money and uh i don't want to you know screw up and that's why i'm a little bit nervous about the paypal working capital loan but i'll probably end up doing it anyway the wife really wants me to go that route uh i've heard a lot of good things about it so i think that's what we're gonna do if you guys have any more um advice as far as the paypal working capital loan uh your experiences with it or whatever, you can leave comments down below or you can find me on Facebook. I'm pretty easy to find. Uh, it's a picture of me and my wife. Uh, there are, I do have more than one account, but I never use the other one, which is just a picture, an older picture of me. And I think I have a can of spam in my hand, but uh, maybe not. I don't remember. But uh, so anyway, that's going to do it for me tonight. I should probably list some things so I can make some money so I can pay off a loan that I don't have yet. So thanks for all, all you all for coming. Uh, and we'll uh, hopefully do this more often. I, I consider it a nightly thing, but I don't think I'm going to commit to that yet. So see ya. And now I got to figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> I'm so bad with this modern technology. Oh, there's the stop button. All right, folks, I'll see you.